All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, super excited to see the Mind CBA collective uh, come to fruition and to see that, you know, this is the very first event that we create in the collective. And um, it happens to be a very exciting one for, for me personally because I've known Max for a while and I knew that since the moment that he told me what he was doing, um, that it was going to be big. And here we are, you know. Uh, and, and you can think of AI uh, as a meteor, and it happens that in 2023, that meteor hit planet Earth, um, and the world is going to change, kind of like when meteors uh, hit Earth uh, every time they do. So um, big ones. So now we are in this age where everyone and every organization is going to need uh, artificial intelligence, but they're going to need applied artificial intelligence. So the premise of MindCB is that there are companies like Nixla that do the hard work of doing the research, understanding what is the best way to solve a problem that is a very difficult problem. And we believe that most organizations don't have to have a team like the Nixla team uh, with PhDs and people making publications to actually do forecasting, for instance. We believe that any organization in the world, without having to have a research team, can actually apply these technologies. So the idea of MyCB is actually quite simple, is taking data that exists in any of the data sources that databases have or organizations have today and be able to pipe that data into any AI framework that exists today in real time and then get the output of that and feed it back into another data source if you need to. So automating that process is the job of MyCB. And of course, we're very proud to have been working with Nixla for a while, so we support all of the Nixla open source uh, frameworks and toolings for forecasting. But also, we now also support TimeGPT. So you can start doing things that are, as Max was pointing it out, are very interesting about the way that pre-trained or zero-shot learning models work. So one of the things that we've observed with people that use MindCB and say, for instance, OpenAI, or Cohere and et cetera, is that you can start doing machine learning without having to think too much about the training data. And, um, okay, so this is mine to be, and I am going to do a very simple example, which is being able to plug a live data source like um, Binance, and then being able to do forecasting on this data source, and then at the end, automate the work of fine tuning this. Um, through the Nixi API. Later, Didier is going to show you how this is done um, in a graphical way, like in the same style that you do for, uh, you know, Bloomberg, etc., but with top-notch zero-shot learning AI. Um, so this one is more if you want to do it in Tableau, etc., or you want to kind of apply uh, machine learning from from the SQL world. Now. The first thing about MyZB is that you can connect to any data source the same way that you connect to a database. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to connect to Binance. Um, since I'm already connected, this is going to say, OK, this already exists. I'm going to create a simple view for the Binance uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin to dollar. In this case, I'm just saying, OK, I'm going to select the symbol, the time in which it opened in the market, the open price, and then I'm going to select this from the uh, aggregated data that exists on uh, MyZB. Now, here is important to know that MyZB doesn't really bring this data into any database. It's just creating an abstraction so you can query Binance the same way that you will query a table, and then it actually goes behind the scenes and queries this and formats this as if it was an actual table. And then I'm going to show you how these views work. And here is just Again, it looks like if it, that table existed, but in actually, in reality, just querying Binance and formatting this information as if it was an actual database in a table. And I'm going to do the same thing for Ethereum until the last of a few minutes ago, or a minute ago. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create an engine. Now, MyZB supports many different AI and machine learning engines. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to bring the TimeGPT engine into MyZB. So for that, you create an engine and you set the API key. I think I already created this one before, so it may say that I already have it. 
I'm going to show the engines that I have. I have OpenAI, Lightwood, et cetera, and I have TimeGPT now. Yeah? I'm going to now create a model using TimeGPT from the data that exists on Binance. And this is actually very simple. I'm just going to tell it what type of model uh, or what name do I want to give to this model, from what query I want to learn, if I need to learn, then what is the column that I'm going to use to uh, order information by, in this case, the time in which transactions are being made. And then since the Binance API has many different symbols, I'm going to group by symbol. That means that I can create one single model to predict all kinds of uh, machine learning, all, all kinds of uh, predictions over each of the symbols that exist on Binance. Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, and all the different shit coins that exist out there. Um, so then you have the window of time, which is how far back do you want to um, actually take into information to predict into the future. This is 100 data points, and you want to predict 10 numbers in the future. So essentially you're saying, okay, if every single reading that I have from Bitcoin is one every second, I want to be able to predict what's going to happen in the next 10 seconds. I know maybe if uh, time GPT um, it's, it's working really well for this. A lot of you that can try this tonight can make, can make some money. Um, so, yeah, no, really, I, I, for real. I, I, should have, I should have used it last week when I bought a whole bunch of stock before it crashed. But I, I, <laughs> I think that you guys can use it now that it's gonna go up again eventually. So, you know, this is gonna be super fun. Um, anyway, so we run this model. I already, for the sake of Live demos, I created this model already before. But the cool thing here is that now I can actually make a prediction. So I'm going to join my model with like the, the Binance uh, Ethereum view. And I want to forecast this into the future. So here we are. So now I get predictions for you know, the, the, the following 15 minutes and I can fine tune the model from my Binance view as well, anytime I want. Um, so I invite you all to actually try my to be and the TimeGPT integration, and also to give us feedback as well, because the idea behind my to be is that if the abstraction that we have to TimeGPT doesn't work very well, then we can fine tune in or, or optimize it for, for, for your use cases. But we're very excited to see what people build not only with TimeGPT, but combining that with a whole bunch of information that exists out there that is uh, time series. The world is time series. You know, like we live in a four-dimensional world. The fourth dimension is time, and we cannot escape it. So um, I'm going to hand it over to Rob again. Thank you so much for being here. And again, if you have any ideas as to how you can apply AI, or if you have projects, et cetera, we'd we'll love to hear them. We'd we'll love to open up the space for other people as well. And thank you.